Hi guys and welcome back to my channel or hello if you're new my name is Emma I'm a complex grad filmmaker and this is a quite different video than I'm used to um I had no intentions really of making this for YouTube until my friends were like hey Emma how the hell do you make your folders look like that? It is very, very easy. This tutorial will be in two parts. The first part is how I actually design my folders to look the way that they do. I use Photoshop for this. And the second part is actually how you change the icon from the default folder to the new design that you've made. The main reason that I change the designs for my folders on my Mac are because it just makes things easier. If you look in this folder, this is the folder of my graduation film where colors come from. There are a lot of folders in here. You can see that the casting and finance folders have changed. What I'm gonna do is design a new icon for the editing folder because I'm in there constantly at the moment. Changing the folders, at least for me, just gives me a more distinct path for my eye to follow. If we actually just take a quick look in my folders folder, you will see that I have designed a bunch of them. Um, I quite enjoy doing this. If you wanna have some of these instead of designing your own, just stick around till the end of the video. How I get started is I found a high resolution PNG of the default folder online. And this is now the image I used to open with Photoshop to design all of my custom ones. The first thing I will show you is just how to change the color of the folder. It is super duper easy. In Photoshop, the path you want to follow is go to image, then to adjustments, and then to hue slash saturation, or just press command U. It will bring up this panel where you can change the hue, the saturation, and the lightness. Just slide around these sliders. Adjusting the hue will change the color of the folder. This is the fastest way that I found to do this. If all I wanted to do was change the color, I would leave it here and export this file. A different way of changing the folder color would be to do it via paint. Add a new blank layer to the image on Photoshop. When this box pops up, it is so important that you click use previous layer to create clipping mask. What will happen is then when you paint on this new layer, it will only let you paint on the available pixels of the layer from below. In other words, it means you won't color outside the lines. You'll know that you've done this if your new layer is slightly to the side from your first one and has an arrow pointing down to it. It shows they're connected. So then if I select a paintbrush and a color, you'll see that all I can do is paint on the folder and nowhere else. And again, you can go to the hue and saturation box, just go command U, and you can adjust the hue, saturation and lightness of this layer or the layer below just by using those sliders. If I'm changing the color of the folder this way, what I'll also do is make sure that on the folder layer, I will make it grayscale and increase the contrast. This makes sure that the details of the folder below will show through the new paint layer you have just added on top. I would use this method to change the design on the folder, really only if I'd found a pattern or an image online that I really liked and wanted to use it on the folder. So I'll show you again, if you create a new layer, making sure that you tick use previous layer to create clipping mask. Then what you can do is when you have an image you like, you can simply drag that onto your design. And voila! That is how you get a folder with your face on it. But really use any image, any pattern, it works in exactly the same way. And that is really how you change the overall design of the folder. The next thing I'm going to show you is how you would add emojis or something similar onto the folder to make it more clear what is actually inside it. Again, I'm going to create a new layer from our base folder layer. And again, I'm going to make sure that I tick use previous layer to create clipping mask. This will keep everything within the boundaries of the original folder. With this new layer, you're just going to go to the text tool. and you're gonna change the font to be apple color emojis. And then if you like, you can start selecting your emojis from the glyphs panel here. I found that they're really oddly organized, so I usually don't do it this way. What I will do is open my notes app and press function E, this will bring up a symbols box, or I can simply go to edit, scroll down and select emojis and symbols. That will bring up this panel. It is the character viewer. It has all the arrows, symbols, pictograms that your little heart could desire, as well as all of the emojis that we used to. 
Here I will just select an emoji that is relevant to what the folder will be related to. This folder is for editing, so I'm choosing editing related icons. I will then simply copy and paste them into Photoshop into that text layer. Just double check that they're the apple color emojis and not the noto color emojis. But again, you know, whatever floats your boat. The simple thing here to do would just be to choose one emoji, make it slightly larger and center it, and that would be your folder design. What I'm gonna show you now, however, is actually how you can make a repeating pattern. I'm gonna do that using the DVD and Blu-ray emojis. Like I've already said, because this layer is done with the clipping mask, it means that I can move the emojis wherever I like and they're not gonna overlap anywhere. I will then just copy and paste these into a row and make them the size I'd like for this design. For your next row, make sure you don't just copy and paste. As you can see, this hasn't created a clipping layer. You have to have a clipping layer or it will start to overlap on the sides, as you can see. If I hadn't made sure to take that box and make the mask for each layer, this is what my folder would look like. Yeah. So to duplicate this row to start making a pattern, make sure you convert this from a text layer into an object layer. Right click on the layer and scroll down to convert to smart object. When you straight copy and paste this layer, you'll see that again, it hasn't done it with the clipping mask. So right click on the layer and scroll down to create clipping mask. This will make it line up with your other clipped layers. I will then maneuver these rows to where I want them to make the pattern, and then I will merge them. Select both layers, right click on them and scroll down to merge layers. And rinse and repeat depending on how you want your pattern to look. I will zoom out at least once in order to see the design at the size it will be when it is a folder. And of course, if I'm making things even more difficult for myself, I will actually just go ahead and erase this top bit of the emojis in order to make it look smarter on the folder. But so I can see where I'm erasing, I'll make sure that I set this layer to 80% opacity. And back we go. And there you go, that's how you do this if you wanted to make a repeated pattern. You can pretty much use everything I've just showed you in order to create whatever kind of designs you want. To export the design in order to use it, go to File, Export, Quick Export as PNG. It is very important you export this as a PNG. This means that you will not add a background to the design, it will stay transparent. And for God's sake, just name your folders and files appropriately. In this next bit, I'll show you how you can change the folders. Here is the design that we made earlier. As you can see, because I exported this as a PNG, there is no background. The file has remained transparent. Select the design you have. You can or command C for copy, or you can select the design, go to edit and copy. The design will now be stored in your clipboard. Go to the target folder that you would like to change, right click and select get info. It will bring up this information panel about the folder. You can also actually just click on the icon. Once this is selected, you can just paste, command V. The other way of doing this is again, select the icon, go to edit and select paste. And there you go. That's how you create custom designs and change your folders. I know the explanation I've given you has been rather precise, but I can really do this in about 30 seconds. Do not be fooled by this tutorial. This really only takes 30 seconds. If you don't want to faff or have time to make these yourself, no worries. Just head over to my website. I've put up a post there that will let you download a folder that has a bunch of my designs in them. 
you can really do whatever you want with this. Some things that I do is say a certain folder has a certain kind of file in it. I will make the folder design reflect that. It's super useful if you're color coding, but it's also nice aesthetically. This is my documents folder. It just makes things a lot clearer and easier for me to find because it's not all the same folder. It's also super helpful if I'm trying to remind myself what I'm actually working on and what actually matters more than other things. Let's just say that the custom or colored folders just make things pop a bit more. It's drawing my eye, it's drawing my attention. I'm being reminded that this is what you were working on, Emma. And yeah, that was it. Again, it's surprisingly simple. I can do this in 30 seconds. If you want the customs I have made, you can just head over to my website. It's linked down below in the description. Let me know if you make any of your own or need any clarification with anything in the comments. Thank you very, very much for watching. Like, subscribe and all that jazz. And I will hopefully see you guys very, very soon. Goodbye.